Hello everyone, today we are in Sicily and it's a beautiful day. We decided we're going to visit an olificio, an oil making factory. Alex was genuinely really, really excited to see the whole process and we're going to take you with us. get from olives to olive oil. Here we are at this factory to see how that's being done and here is the forklift taking all of the olives that have been harvested throughout the day and pouring it into that huge container. In this uh, particular first step, what happens is the olives are being sorted from the leaves. So you'll be seeing there all of the leaves leaving out through there and then all of the olives will be separate from leaves and moving forward into the next step. olives being taken over to the next step which is getting them clean so they get washed up that's all the dirty water that goes away and then they're nice and sparkly clean and any remaining leaves will be sorted out there So here you can see our good friend Salvatore Scalia explaining to us that the olive is made up of about 20-25% pulp and the rest is the olive pit. The centrifugation process during the extraction of olive oil helps to separate the olive pit from the pulps. People use the pit to keep their fireplaces alive and burning through the night. Um, olive pits are now used by olive companies as a source of electricity to energize whole plants. So the grounded stones are excellent alternatives from microplastics. They offer promising effects in abrasive applications such as heavy duty cleaners and hand washing products. The olive powder has many food applications as well, both for human and animal foods. It is a gluten free flour that can be and is used in various baked goods. So after they've been separated from their leaves, they are now clean. They have been separated from their pit. What is happening next to our olives? Let's follow our friend Salvatore and see. And the next step into the process is they go and get mashed, which is what we're going to see right now. From here, the olives are being taken to further sort of mashed and separated from the water inside it uh, which is what Salvatore is explaining to us now is that uh, from then on that's the top part where the water comes out and the bottom part is where the actual oil comes out of the olive. And voila, beautiful golden greenish amazing extra virgin olive oil. So here he is pouring a bottle and he wants to give us uh, some olive oil to take home with us which is really nice. Yeah, that was really nice and really kind of him and we really appreciate it and we used it um, 
later in the day to create loads of beautiful things like salads and even garlic, crushed garlic, which was delicious for our barbecue. But here, Salvatore decided that um, we could give it a try with bread, which is what they do there. So he's putting some onto the bread and then I'll be going ahead and giving that a try in a minute. It is very delicious, of course, uh, but it's also quite intense. So it's really, really kind of um, tingling to the taste buds. And um, yeah, it's just generally really uh, velvety and gorgeous. So we were really, really uh, grateful and so happy to come here. And we thanked our friend, as I said, Alex really loved it. We went around, um, to the park after that and we had a really good time there it was still uh, daytime and um, he enjoyed spinning around and doing all the bits and then after that we'll be going home for a lovely barbecue we were really so lucky because the weather here is really nice about 21 22 degrees we've had days with 25 degrees as well which was really nice and um, we felt really grateful it's a really nice break from the sort of typical English weather and even a nice break from what it was like when I grew up around this time in Romania in November. It's usually kind of getting um, quite cold and here we are preparing artichoke, potatoes and aubergine and Alex decided to have some burgers which is what you can see there being um, made on the fire. And this is the cooked artichoke and we've enjoyed being by the sea and also doing this beautiful day and there was a concert music concert in the evening and this was a beautiful time for Alex to kind of run around well it was mostly me that did the running around and that's Alex's cousin Ettore but <laughs> it was really funny for Alex I hope you've enjoyed this video we're sending you lots and lots of love and look forward to seeing you soon bye